Hello students, in this module we will be seeing a sum based on subdivided bar diagram and the question is this. In the table given below, the information is given about roads. Using this, draw a subdivided bar diagram and the table given is this one. The first column, years, the second column, permanent roads in lakh kilometers, the third column, temporary roads in lakh kilometers. Now, what do you mean by this permanent roads in lakh kilometers? It is length of permanent roads in lakh kilometers. Similarly, length of temporary roads in lakh kilometers. Now, for this sum, what do we have to do? We have to draw a subdivided bar diagram. As the name suggests, subdivided means one single bar will be drawn and that bar will be divided. Now, for this sum, which bar you have to draw and divide? Let us understand that. We got length of permanent roads. We got length of temporary roads. Which bar you will draw? Yes, we will draw total length of the roads bar and that bar we will divide into permanent and temporary. So the last column will be nothing but the total length of the roads. So that will be total. So we will add these two and write it in the last column. The first year 2000 to 2001, the total length of the roads will be 14 plus 10, 24 lakh kilometers. The second year, the total length of the roads will be 15 plus 11, it will be 26 lakh kilometers. The third year, the total length of the roads will be 17 plus 13, it will be nothing but 30 lakh kilometers. And the last year, it will be 20 plus 19, it will be 39 lakh kilometers. Once your table is ready, you can take your graph paper. On the graph paper, leave 2 centimeters from the bottom and draw horizontal x-axis. Put arrows on both the sides and write x, x dash on it. Similarly, from the left, leave 2 centimeters, draw the vertical y-axis, put arrows at top and bottom and write y, y dash on it. This x-axis and y-axis, they intersect at the origin, so you can put 0 over there. Now, we have to put information on x-axis and y-axis. Now, if you see this table, there are two types of information. The first one is this years. This years is a subjective information and always this subjective information will be put on the x-axis. So, we'll write years on the x-axis. And we got this permanent roads, temporary roads. That is a numerical information. And numerical information always comes on the y-axis. So what should we write on the y-axis? Permanent roads, length of permanent roads in lakh kilometers, length of temporary roads in lakh kilometers. So basically what it is, it is length of roads in lakh kilometers. So that will come on the y-axis, length of roads in lakh kilometers. Now once you have put the information on x-axis and y-axis, let us put the numbers now. Now, years we are going to put on the x-axis. We are not going to stick the bars on the y-axis, right? So the first year, that is 2000 to 2001, where we will write? From the origin, you can leave 2 centimeters and write the first year, that is 2000 to 2001. Then again leave 2 centimeters, write the next year, that is 2001 to 2002. Again leave 2 centimeters, write the third year, 2003 to 2004. Again leave 2 centimeters and write the fourth year, 2007 to 2008. Now, years are put on the x-axis. Similarly, let us put the length of the roads on the y-axis. On the y-axis, if you count, you got approximately 20 centimeters with you. So, what scale we can take? Look at the biggest number we have to accommodate on the y-axis. The biggest number we have to accommodate is 39. So, let us think about 39. If you go for 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit, this 39 won't come because you got only 20 centimeters with you. So, what scale you should go? We have to increase the scale. So let us increase it. Let us take one centimeter as two units. So how your y-axis is going to progress? Yes, it is going to progress this way. Two, four, six, eight. You can go on writing up to 40 because the biggest number that you have to accommodate is 39. Right? Now x-axis, y-axis, we have written the numbers. One thing is missing now before you start drawing the diagram. That is scale. So let us write the scale. There is no scale on the x-axis because you have put subjective information. But the scale has to be written for y-axis. In the y-axis, the gap we left between 2 and 4 is 1 centimeter. And what is the difference between 2 and 4? It is 2. And what are the units on the y-axis? Lakh kilometers, right? So 1 centimeter is equal to 2 lakh kilometers is the scale. So let us write the scale box on the top right corner. Scale on y-axis is 1 centimeter is equal to 2 lakh kilometers. Now your graph paper is fully ready to draw the diagram. Right? The first year, 2000 to 2001, the total for the first year is 24. 24 is there on the y-axis. So let us do a marking on the top for the first year and can draw a bar up to this 24. The second year, the total length of the roads is 26. 26 is there on the y-axis, yes. 
we can draw, we can mark for the second year, we can mark on the top and we can quickly draw a total bar for the second year. The third year, the total length of the roads is 30, 30 is there on the y-axis. So, we can put a marking on the top for the third year and we can draw a bar, total bar for the third year. The last year, the total length of the roads is 39. Now, 39 is not there on the y-axis, right? 39 will be exactly between that 38 and 40, yes or no? So, let us zoom that part. 38 is here and 40 is here. Where will be 39? 39 will be exactly in the middle, yes? So, yes, that will be 39. So, let us do a marking for the fourth year also on the top for the fourth year and we can draw the total bar for the fourth year. Once all these bars are drawn, now we are going to divide these total bars into permanent roads and temporary roads, right? So the first year, 2000 to 2001, what is the length of permanent roads? 14. So, length of permanent roads is 14. So, for the first year, 14 is there on the y-axis. So, let us divide at 14 for the first year. Now, this part is permanent roads. So, automatically the remaining part becomes temporary roads. So, how are you going to identify which one is permanent roads and which one is temporary roads? We can do some shadings. So, for permanent roads, we will do some shading this way. So, automatically the blank portion indicates temporary roads, right? The second year, 2001 to 2002, the length of permanent roads is 15. 15 will lie between 14 and 16, right? So, between 14 and 16 exactly over there, that is 15. So, you can do the marking for the second year up to 50 and once you have done the marking, you can shade. So, this much will be permanent roads and the remaining is temporary roads. We have shaded for the first year. Similarly, we can do the shading for the second year. The third year, the length of permanent roads is 17. So, 17 is going to lie between 16 and 18. So, that one will be 17. So, you can do the marking in the third bar and divide the third bar into permanent roads and temporary roads. The last year, 2007 to 8, the length of permanent roads is 20. 20 is there on the y-axis. Yeah. So, let us do the marking in the fourth bar for length of permanent roads and do the shading for permanent roads. Now, we have done, we have finished our diagram. But whoever sees your graph paper should understand everything. Now, who will come to know what is this marking and what is that blank? So, you have to put some indicators. You can use one full square for one indicator. Now, this shaded portion is nothing but what? Length of permanent roads. So, we will put one indicator like this, one full square and write permanent roads over there. Now, what is this blank portion? Blank portion is nothing but length of temporary roads. So, we can use again one full centimeter and write temporary roads, right? That completes this sum. Thank you.